I chose Mill Hill because I found, for me, that it had the right balance between academics and school. When I was looking at Mill Hill, I noticed something warm about them, the way they interact, sort of joy in being a schoolboy. Everyone is so family orientated. The teachers will happily go into effort with the individual. You feel that as soon as you come in, that you belong there and you can do anything. The people make your experience just so much more memorable and unforgettable. Mill Hill is set in northwest London in the most beautiful location. We have 120 acres of land with beautiful views, wonderful fresh air, and yet London is within 20 minutes reach. Academically, school pushes us very hard, especially in upper school. You're really driven for really high standards. I think in this year alone we have 25 people looking at Oxford. Mill Hill has done very well in the last few years. We have raised our results through excellent teaching and a real focus on individual students. Subject like geography where I was really bad at it but my teacher Ms Sanchez she just helped me a lot in geography and I got an A star at the end. If you look at the academic side of the school we're incredibly lucky we've got a diverse range of teaching staffs who will bring out the best in every boy and girl we have here and really spark their interest in what they're doing. They work hard and they show a sense of pride and perseverance in their work but it's incredibly important to us that pupils are out doing their sport, that they do their community action, that they're involved in music, that they're involved in extracurricular drama, and they do all the other things that, that the school has on offer. And what we find is that busy pupils, they also tend to be happy pupils, and those who can do their best academically. You can join all these different societies. I've been part of the Lower Sixth Group who have founded the Francis Crick Society, and with that we've created lectures for lower school pupils. We have a full school council which entails the senior monitors sitting at the end of the table and representatives from each year contributing to the issues of their peers and then we'll tackle in a very professional way amongst the council. There are nine houses but three of them are boarding. People do look out for each other in boarding because you're bound to develop a, a stronger bond I would argue where you live and learn to be loyal to people. You gain something a bit stronger than your regular friends in the day schools. We have access to our house masters and house mistresses throughout the day. You see them uh, many times a week to talk about any manner of things if you have a little issue or just need some advice or help. The housemaster and housemistress at Mill Hill are superb in terms of their knowledge of pupils, their ability to understand the holistic development of each boy and girl in their care is exemplary. It's very important that children have a safety net and that they feel that they are safe and supported by the staff who work with them. Working with the house masters and mistresses we have a team of tutors. You can talk to them if you need any help. In Collinson we're fortunate to have an in-house matron who you can see if you're feeling ill at any time. As well as looking after things medical, she really looks after everything to do with the domestics, to do with their clothing, their laundry. Outside of the classroom there are plenty of opportunities for people to participate. There is more to life than academic results and I think this is where Mill Hill really comes into its own. We're providing a range of activities which develop the child, develop confidence, which provide skills so important for life. To try things that they perhaps would never have tried before. I started playing musical instruments like the guitar, started singing something I've never done before. We have fantastic facilities, we're really lucky. We have this beautiful building. It has 12 purpose-built practice rooms. This magnificent recital hall, two big academic rooms for GCSE and A-level. On top of that, we have access to the chapel, we have the main hall, it has a beautiful purpose-built stage, and also the theatre, so there are many, many places to perform. We have something for everyone, four choirs, a string orchestra, the jazz band for the most experienced wind and brass players, but we also have something called a shout band, which is for people who just aren't ready to take that step yet, but who really love to play, and these ensembles will run 
alongside their own instrumental lessons. I've joined art clubs, I've joined music clubs, I've joined a marching band. There's an opportunity for students to be involved in the CCF, the Combined Cadet Force, which involves the Army, Navy and Air Force. So we choose to go on lots of different camps. It really, really helps your leadership skills, you know, because you get put in charge of younger pupils. In addition to all of the usual activities, there's student councils, um, sports leaders, uh, young enterprise, community action and CCF. But they try and make you to be a more well-rounded person, so you're not just concentrating on work all the time, you need to have that break. And they do encourage you to find something that you do love. The main sports at Mill Hill are rugby, hockey and cricket for the boys, and hockey, netball and a combination of rounders, tennis and indeed cricket for the girls ultimate frisbee and basketball. We also have an indoor swimming pool which is heated. Netball, cross country, access to the gym. And there's horse riding also available. We have an on-site golf professional who works very hard with our top golfers and have been very successful in the last few years. We've got three fives courts. If you think of an activity that you enjoy, it will almost certainly be doable here. Fantastic area for the boys and girls to play cricket. The pavilion's just been refurbished and the pitch is playing wonderfully well and it's a wonderful asset to the school. The chapel is one of my favourite places because the inside and the outside is stunning. And what is so exciting about the school today is that it continues this openness to religious belief. The chapel is a very special place to Mill Hill. It's a time when everyone from whatever faith or none has a chance to be still, to reflect. The general atmosphere around the school is just happy. To sum up the school, I would use words such as charming, enjoyable, exciting, buzzy, accepting, friendly, diverse. You know you're always in a good place. You just don't get singled out or anything and you never feel alone. After a while you see it's a really comfortable place to be and you just feel like you've been there your whole life. By the time the pupils leave the school, they really are ready for the challenges of adult life. As we move into the future, we want to ensure that our students are ready for the unknown world that lies ahead. And therefore, what we want to be able to do is provide them with a framework, a set of values and a set of skills which will enable them to face the future with optimism.